It appears like Tesla is in the process of acquiring a wireless charging company based in Germany uh, by the name of Wefirion, at least according to this businessinsider.de article. Beyond the obvious automotive applications of wireless charging, I personally believe that Tesla's interest in this company goes way beyond just automotive and into the world of manufacturing automation. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. During the Tesla Investor Day presentation on March 1st of this year, wireless EV charging was teased when this image was shown, and based on this Drive Tesla Canada article, Tesla has been developing a wireless charging system for, quote, well over a year. This article also indicates that the charging speed of the wireless charger that Tesla is developing um, should be on par with the Tesla wall connector, which according to Tesla's website, their current wall connector, quote, is capable of providing up to 44 miles of range per hour of charge with up to 11.5 kilowatts, 48 amp output, depending on model. If Tesla has been developing their own wireless charging technology for over a year, um, why would they need to purchase a company like Wefirion? Well, in order to understand some possible reasons, I think it's good that we first dive into some information about Wefirion as a company. Wefirion is based in Germany, and based on their company website, they claim to be, quote, the industry's leading supplier of automotive wireless power supply systems. It also seems like the company is mainly focused on wireless charging for machines that you could fit in a warehouse or factory, which they refer to as, quote, Autonomous Guided Vehicles, AGV, Autonomous Mobile Robots, AMR, Forklifts, and Collaborative Robots, Cobots. So because of Wefirion's apparent focus, once again, not on automotive so much, but more on smaller vehicles that are used in a warehouse, what if Tesla's main interest in this company's technology comes down to applications in Tesla factories and warehouses, and the automotive side, the automotive applications are really just a bonus? Or could this technology be useful for Tesla's Optimus robot, as the author of this businessinsider.de article posits? Now, when a large company like Tesla is interested in acquiring another smaller company, Sometimes that acquisition is more about the talent and less about the technology itself. And beyond the wireless charging technology that Wefirion possesses, an acquisition would also give Tesla more engineering talent as well, which could help them in the development of their own EV, a wireless charger, and also once again, for use in their warehouses as well. Now on the automotive side, I believe that first of all, Tesla will focus on level two charging speeds because in the image shared during Tesla's investor day presentation, once again, um, the setup was an in-garage wireless setup. Because of this and what was revealed in the Drive Tesla Canada article and due to the fact that the most powerful wireless charging system currently displayed on Wefirian's website is a 12 kilowatt charger, I personally don't believe that Tesla will launch with wireless charging at superchargers for a few years. Nonetheless, beyond warehouse and factory applications, on the automotive side, with Ferian's expertise on autonomous charging solutions should be beneficial and should have some great application for a company like Tesla that is working hard to develop autonomous vehicles. Obviously, wireless charging for an electric vehicle is handy not only for uh, human drivers, but also, when fully autonomous vehicles are on the road, wireless charging would be the easiest way to keep those EVs charged up and would not require a robotic snake-like charging machine similar to the prototype Tesla was testing back in 2015 that was shared in this YouTube video. Now, when it comes to wireless charging of an electric vehicle, when I first started researching this topic, I was under the impression that wireless charging was less efficient than wired charging. However, it seems like modern wireless technology can be just as efficient or even more efficient to wired equivalents. For instance, according to Wefirian's website, their ETA Link 12000 has an efficiency of 93%, for example, 
And when it comes to other companies that have developed more high power wireless charging systems, according to this Inside EVs article from 2020, quote, in the case of momentum dynamics, the total efficiency from the grid to the battery at 300 kilowatts is between 92% and 94% at an air gap of about seven inches. So based on this information, it doesn't appear like efficiency is a problem, nor does it appear like high power applications are a problem for wireless charging. With that being said, um, I hope that Tesla's vehicles get wireless charging in the very near future. And I would expect that they would begin with higher end vehicles, um, especially higher end, lower volume vehicles like the uh, Tesla Model S and X, and that this technology could trickle down into the Model Y, the Model 3, et cetera, in the future. I'm not sure how expensive um, these wireless charging setups are at first, but once again, when Tesla is really trying to maximize the margin and lower the cost of vehicles, it would make sense once again to start with an expensive vehicle like the Model S or X and uh, implement it there and then work it down into the less expensive vehicles. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description below. Thank you so much.